Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. This is of course my dart frog vivarium. I've got three bumblebee dart frogs, scientifically known as Dendrobates leucomelis. And I'm just about to feed them because it's the first Friday of the month and every first Friday of the month, that's what I do. I feed something and I film it and it's fun. So let's start out there, get a few flies going. These are Heidi eye flies, the larger variety used for feeding dart frogs commonly. I'm curious to see how long it takes them to come out and start eating. It's probably not going to take them very long. Oh, I see one. It's in the hide there, in the little cave. It's starting to come out. Here it comes. I think that's one of my females. I have to get a better look. But yeah, looks like one of my females. Didn't take her long. Can you see her? I mean, she's still kind of in the shadow there, unfortunately, but she ought to come out in just a second. There she goes. All right. Or is that my male? Uh, from this angle, I can't get a very good look, but I'm pretty sure that's one of my females. I have to look either from the top or from the back to really see which one it is. But yeah, that's definitely one of my females. And um, for those of you who have been following the dart frogs and what's been going on with them, this vivarium is about 10 months old. I had them in another vivarium for several years. And when I moved them into this vivarium, I set them up to breed and they have bred. They've produced uh, a number of tadpoles. I raised three tadpoles during the winter here and uh, recently found them homes once they had all metamorphosed into froglets. So. They are now living with a local uh, viewer of this channel. So that's kind of fun. I'm surprised that we're not seeing more dart frogs here. I'm going to retract just a little bit. Sometimes they're a little shy when they start out, but they're pretty bold once they uh, start eating. So we'll see if the other two will show up. Hopefully it's not the uh, iPad that's um, upsetting them, making them nervous there, but at least this one is showing no hesitation in hunting. While she's doing that, I'll just give you a little rundown on the plants here, what's going on. On the left, you can see I've just got a, a normal uh, philodendron, kind of a lighter variety of philodendron. Um, in the lower left and in the bottom left corner, there's some java moss growing there. You can see two neoregelias uh, on the left side, top left corner, and then kind of top center, right above their hide. And then to the left of that hide, down low, there is a rabbit's foot fern. And then just to the right of that is some selaginella. You can see a little bit of the lemon button fern, a small bit of an orchid that I'm growing. Uh, I don't know what species it is. And then I think you can just, yeah, you can see in the top right corner, you can see a little bit of another Neoregelia bromeliad. Um, those are most of the species in there, although I do have a couple of mosses growing in there too. You may or may not be able to see a couple of little patches of moss going on, but it's been really fun uh, watching this vivarium grow out. Um, very little maintenance, of course, because it's a bioactive vivarium. I've got um, Isopoda species Tarragona in there, uh, as well as springtails, hoping to take care of things in the leaf litter layer. So they take care of the feces and so on. Basically, the maintenance besides feeding and misting it is restricted to wiping down the glass. So I wipe down the front glass with a paper towel. Um, and ideally I would do that every day. Honestly, I don't always get to it every day, but uh, that seems sufficient. And I'm gonna actually dump a few more flies in there. It looks like some of those are hiding already. And I wanna see if I can attract the other frogs. Hopefully I can do it without scaring this frog away. And at the same time, get the other frogs coming. Well, maybe I was a little overly optimistic, but she's still into the into the flies. So I'll just dump them all in. And maybe we can get the other frogs coming. She still looks very hungry. Maybe I should see if I can get a little bit closer in. I'm going to try without scaring her. Hopefully I can do that. Sorry for the noise. But there we go. A little bit closer up on her. Get a better shot. What she looks like while she's eating. Oh, 
Sorry, the other two frogs didn't come to the party. Maybe I'll have to see if I can uh, splice in some B-roll of them eating a little later or something like that. So you can see how it goes. Well, thanks for watching today. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to rate, comment, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.